Let's carve pala. Leaf stamping with Hawaiian plants. What is kapala? Kapala in Hawaiian is printing, stamping to paint or print a design as on tapa. Plants we will use Hawaiian plants, kukui leaf, milo leaf, kupu kupu fern, tea leaf, la e. Kukui, definition, candle nut tree, lamp, light, torch. The oily kernels, fruit, were formerly used for lights, hence the tree is a symbol of enlightenment. Usage, the nuts are cooked for a relish, ina mona. The softwood was used for canoes and gum for the bark for painting tapa. Black dye was obtained from nut coats and from roots. Polished nuts are strung in leaves. Milo Definition A tree found on coast of the eastern tropics. It means in Hawaiian to curl, twist as sennet strands, braided cord, to whirl as water, to spin as a tail, abortion. Usage Used for shade, wood for calabashes, other parts of the tree in many ways, as for medicine, dye, oil, gum. Kupu Kupu Definition in Hawaiian To surge, rise forth, as lava. General name for ferns on a single stem. Usage it was sometimes added to the hula altar to laka for knowledge to kupu sprout. Ki or tea. Definition. Tea, a woody plant in the lily family. Usage. The leaves were put to many uses by the Hawaiians as for house thatch, food wrappers, hula skirts, sandals, the thick, sweet roots were baked for food or distilled for brandy. Before collecting the leaves, make sure to ask permission to the plant. In your mind, ask, may I? Craft materials. What will use? Leaves. Acrylic paint. Paintbrush, cardstock paper, t shirt or a cotton bag. Other items needed newspaper, paper towel, a palette or a paint tray. Okay, let's get started. Let's make greeting cards with Hawaiian plants. Today we're going to learn how to kapala to stamp or print with Hawaiian plants. Types of card we can make. A mahalo card. Thank you card. A hau olila hanau card. A birthday card. A mele kalikimaka card. A Christmas card. Here are the steps to create the greeting cards. One. Apply the paint to the leaf. Number two, stamp it on the material. Number three, let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Number four, add the message. We're gonna make a greeting card with these cardstock papers. And cardstock papers are a little bit thicker. It's not like a copy uh, paper. It's, it's not like a regular paper. It's a little bit thicker. So it's great for making greeting cards. And what we're gonna do first, we're gonna fold the paper in half. Like this. And we're gonna print inside. Okay, we're gonna pour the paint in this little tray here.
This is an acrylic paint and it's good for paper and also fabric. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp using a tea leaf. So a tea leaf, um, usually you want to have a nice clean cut stem edge. So I used a knife to cut off this stem so we can stamp on a flat surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we don't want too much paint on so we're gonna dab it on like this lightly then we're gonna stamp it on our paper so if you have a certain design that you want to go for um, you might want to practice on a piece of paper or a newspaper before you move on you actually print on the real cardstock paper so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start from here at the end. Okay, what I just noticed now is you want the stem to be straight. And this one is not straight, so I'm gonna make it straight. Okay, now it's straight, okay? I'm gonna add the paint and start stamping. So the stem, this is a small tea leaf, so the stem is really small. So it's like a little crescent shape and it's turning out like this. And if you want a bigger circle or a crescent shape you may want to use a bigger tea leaf so it has a bigger stem so you, if it's a smaller one there's a lot of printing to do or if you want to use a bigger one it's going to be bigger so you don't need to stamp that much So you can play with that kind of um, a lighter color and it's going to be darker if it's the first first stamping and the second time you stamp it, it's going to be lighter so do one stamping which is darker because there's more paint on it and then the second stamping is going to be a lighter color and the third stamping will be even lighter so you can either dab the paint every time to make the darker color or if you want a mixture of lighter color and a darker color you can do double paint stamp 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 another twice or three times and make the color darker to lighter Okay, now this is the stem of the tea leaf and there's another another way to print Kapala we're gonna use a milo leaf this is a milo leaf so the shiny side is the outside and you want to use the back side because there's more vein and it's easier to make uh, it's easier to stamp and it's prettier on the back side. So we're gonna dab some paint on the back side like this. So you're gonna apply the paint. And you don't want too much so you want to spread the paint evenly.
make sure you cover all the veins and in the corner. Okay, it's looking good. And I'm also going to paint the stem. So this is optional. If you want to paint the stem, you can paint it like this. But if you don't want the stem and just the leaf, you don't need to color this, the stem. Okay, now what we're going to do, bring this card back. And we're going to place the leaf. On the card this and then we're gonna bring this paper towel over it and rub the leaf over the paper towel so and don't forget the stem too we're gonna rub the paint on the card Make sure you rub over the entire leaf. Okay. Okay, let's see how it went. Okay. I'm going to take off the paper towel gently. And from the stem, you're going to peel it off. Whoop. Whoa, nice. Very nice. Okay, this is how it looks like. The milo leaf. And this is the little stems from the, the tea leaf stem. Okay, so we can stop right here and you can add your messes here. So I'm gonna do a couple more um, samples for you. Okay, I am going to use a kukui leaf. A kukui leaf. And we're gonna apply the paint to the back side of the leaf so there you can see the veins here. We're gonna apply the paint to the back side. Okay. So we're going to have the back side facing up and we have a blue paint. So you want to start from the stem. You're going to start from the stem and go outwards, outwards, outwards. And you want to make sure you cover the entire leaf until it is all blue. So you don't want too much paint on it, on the leaf. You want to kind of uh, have just enough to cover the leaf. So here's how it went. So this side is darker because uh, I put too much paint on, on this part, as you can see. So if you want to have an even, uh, even paint, you want to kind of make sure that you are applying the right amount of paint equally over the entire leaf so you don't want one part like this with more paint on so you want to evenly kind of spread out the paint so it comes out evenly but i think this is good too okay okay we're gonna use a kupu kupu fern okay so let's apply the paint okay with the kupu 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 Fern, it's going to be slightly harder to apply the paint. So you kind of want to kind of dab the paint like this. Like this. Pressing down with your paintbrush. Okay. 
അങ്ങനെ You're gonna place the fern on your card. You can put your paper towel over it, and now you're gonna gently rub over the paper towel. Okay, I'm gonna try to be really careful with this because you know. Koopa Koopa ferns are longer, so it's kind of hard, harder than a regular leaf like this. So we're gonna make sure we press it down really nice. And now we're gonna gently peel the leaf off. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So you don't want to leave the fern or the leaf on too long, uh, because when these acrylic paint dry, it's gonna the leaf is gonna stick to the card. So you don't want to um, keep the leaf on too long. And this is how it came out. Okay, so we're gonna wait 10 or 15 minutes for the card or the paint to dry. Let's kapala on fabric.
Number one, let the paint dry overnight. The next day, set the iron on high temperature and iron over the paint. After the paint is completely dry, iron over the fabric. You can do this only when you use acrylic paint. This way, the paint stays longer on the fabric. You can even wash the fabric and the paint won't come off. Make sure to set your iron on high temperature. Every child is an artist. Pablo Picasso 